realize this city belongs to God, right? You realize that it's going to take all of us to get it there, right? Come on, somebody's beginning to shout, Lord, you reign. Come on, Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Come on, make me feel like you feel, like you know what you're saying. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Come on. I, I believe that, that God is going to do something great this weekend. Amen. Uh, you know, and, 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 and I'm, I'm going I'm to share something with you guys very quickly because I think some people are wondering why we're having it back here at our house. Originally, we was going to have it over at the river with, with Robin and Jeremy. And then the, the Lord began to deal with me about bringing it back here because we was going to bring so much disruption to their place and what we had to get done. So I had to reach out to them and, and kind of share with them first before we announced it. That's why we're back here. We're believing next year we're going to have our campus, our new campus next year. Amen. So glory to God, and, and I believe that we'll have a, even have a restaurant on, camp, on site so we can always have some of that good filet mignon done for us. Amen. But how many of you guys are really expecting God to move this weekend? Amen. You know, the whole thing this weekend is leading with integrity. You know, and, and, and integrity is a very key issue in my life. Amen. And, and so once you lose your integrity, it's hard to get it back. But this weekend, it's about empowering you to fulfill the call that God has in store for you. And this year, we're doing something totally different. We're doing it two days. We're doing it tomorrow, all day tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we're doing it Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. We've got a, a meal that's going to take place, amen. We've got a, a question and a panel session that's going to come up. At the very end, we're going to do an impartation with everybody. Everybody in the house will have hands laid on you tomorrow, on Saturday, amen. And I'm believing that God will give everybody a prophetic word, amen. So if you come looking for a prophetic word, I believe God's going to give you a prophetic word. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. So what we're going to do right now, uh, uh, we're going to go ahead, and I want you to take a couple of minutes just to greet somebody very quickly that you don't know who they are. Amen. And love on them tonight. Glory to God. Good to see you again. I'm assuming.
Praise God, praise God, praise God, everybody. Come on, have your seats just for a moment so we can get ready to go into the presence of the Lord. Jesus. Jesus. We could get some music. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a way to start this rally tonight with prayer. Is there anybody in the house needs the Savior? Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to just put this out front before we start prayer. In case you don't understand, intercession is not for a special group. Prayer is not for a special group, but it's for everyone that has been called by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're living in a day and a time right now where everybody should be able to approach the throne of God. Amen. You should be coming in with thanksgiving and with praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. We're going to ask everybody to get involved tonight because we didn't come here on a staycation, a vacation, a look a loo none of that. Amen. I just got off the road. Come on. But I knew my assignment up here tonight. I knew that God had called in a mighty army. Whew. Hallelujah. And this army is charged tonight to set the city of Tucson back up on its feet. Hallelujah. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, let's go higher and let's go deeper in him. Come on. I hear him say, come up thither. Come up thither. Hallelujah. 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 I need you praying. I need you to pour from your spirit tonight. Hallelujah. God, we bless your name. We magnify your great and mighty name. Hallelujah. You're a wonderful Savior. You're an awesome God. Oh, God, you're a wonderful God. And tonight we bless you and we magnify you and we glorify you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come in this room and sit with us. Hallelujah. While we worship at your feet, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah, I need everybody uh, to call on the name. Uh, there is no other name, no other name, no other name given, hallelujah, more powerful than Jesus, hallelujah, he's mighty, he's wonderful, he's great, uh, hallelujah, worthy to be lifted uh, Hallelujah, worthy, Hallelujah, worthy to be lifted. Uh, hallelujah, God, we bless you. Uh, we magnify you. We glorify you. Uh, we lift you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Set yourself in this place tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we need you. We need you. Uh, God, you're looking at a group of people uh, that need your help, uh, that need your strength, uh, that need you, oh God, to lift us, uh, that need you, oh God, to anoint us uh, in the name Hashundo Babande. Say, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We need you tonight. Uh, hallelujah. We give you thanksgiving tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we give you thanks. Uh, for your mercy, uh, for your kindness, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we give you thanks uh, for opening up doors that were closed. Uh, we give you thanks, uh, oh God, for blessing us uh, just another day. Uh, we give you thanks uh, for helping us uh, just one more day. Uh, we give you thanks, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you thanks, Lord. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, we give you thanks. Come on and praise him. Uh, lift him in your own way. Come on uh, and give God glory. Uh, woo, come on, we need to hear your praise. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, we need to hear your praise. Woo, Shamamandeosta. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Come on, come on, saints. Come on, I don't want to cheerlead you. This God that you're calling upon saved you and he saved me. Hallelujah to God. Woo, come on and bless him in this house. Woo. Thank him for your healing. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of your praise. He's worthy of all the glory. Worthy. He's worthy tonight. Worthy of the honor. Woo. Glory to God. Is there anybody in here that just wants to thank him? Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Hallelujah. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his greatness. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. He shunned out of the whole side. Hallelujah. 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 Shunned it Sumanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worthy is the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory, 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 glory. Lift Jesus. Lift Jesus. Lift Jesus. Lift him if you want somebody saved. Hallelujah. He said, if you lift me, I will draw all men unto me. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Lift him. Glory, 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 glory. Yes, yes, the Lord is in this place. His presence is here. Hallelujah. Come on and lift him, saints. Come on. This is just our start. Come on. This is just our beginning. We need every voice to lift him up. Hey, God, hallelujah. Woo, glory, glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's no God like our God. No Savior like our Savior. No help like the help we get from Him. No one can strengthen you like He will. Nobody will heal you like He's going to heal. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, I feel the healing anointing. Hallelujah. Come on. If you would just praise Him. Woo. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. The Lord is in his temple. He's sitting high. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Glory, 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 glory. Jesus, Jesus. Come on, the Lord wants you to come up a little bit higher. Hallelujah. It is in the high place that you have a different sight. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on up higher so you can see the God. Hallelujah. That sits on his throne. Hallelujah. Ah, my, 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 my. Come on. Bless him in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for another year. Hallelujah. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for mercy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you because you loved us so much. Thank you, oh God, for dying at Calvary's tree. Thank you for the blood that you shed for us tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, because you're a way maker, burden bearer. Hallelujah. You're the El Shaddai, uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, you are the great Elohim. Uh, God, we bless you in this place. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and bless him. It's Jehovah Shammah. He's in this place present uh, with us tonight. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory, glory, glory. Uh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Uh, Somebody need to say yes, uh, yes to the master, uh, yes to his will, uh, yes to his love, uh, yes to what he's doing, uh, yes, 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 uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, mm. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. My soul say yes. Hallelujah. My soul say yes. Uh, yes, yes, Lord. Yes. Uh, Father, we want you to endow us this week. Uh, Lord God, let your spirit and your anointing flow in this house uh, like never before. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Like never before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost in the house. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost in the house. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Spirit all across this house. Begin to pray. Come on. If you have to get out of your seat, get out of your seat. Begin to move around. Amen. You know, there's not need to be an interpreter. We're in worship right now. Come on. Lord, we just honor you in this house, Father God. Lord, we honor you in this city, Lord Father God. We honor you in our churches, Lord Father God. Lord, you're raising us up for a time such as this. And we declare, we decree that your word will manifest in power, Father God, in our churches, in our city, Father God. We thank you, Lord, right now that the chains are being broken, Father God, across this city, Father God. We thank you, Lord, right now the comatose spirits are being broken across this city, oh God. And we thank you, Lord, right now relationships are being healed, restored, and mended right now, Father God. Lord, that you're bringing back, Father God, husbands and wives together. You're bringing back, Father God, sons and daughters together. And tonight, oh God, God. We declare, we decree, this city belongs to you, O oh God. We thank you from the north, south, east, and to the west. We release the angels right now, Father God, to fight the battles, to bring them out, Father God. Bring them out from the corners. Bring them out from under the rocks. Bring them out from every addiction. Bring them out from every anger. Bring them out from every generational curse, Father God. We thank you, Lord, right now as we dispatch these angels. We hereby command you now to go forth and to fight the battles, to go forth and bring them out, to go forth and tonight and show yourself strong on the behalf of God's children. We declare, Lord, tonight, Father God, that this city, Father God, will no longer be the same, oh God. We thank you, Lord, right now for transformations in our prayers, for transformations in our walk, for transformations in our collaborations. We thank you, Lord, right now that tonight is the night, Father God, that Satan's going to have to reckon with God's children in the city, Father God. We thank you that tonight is the night, Father God, the battle is turning in the favor of God's children. And tonight, Father God, we declare we decree and we speak to the principalities and powers over this region. We hereby nullify you right now. We hereby nullify everything you're trying to do. We dispatch the angels to fight, to tear down and to destroy every work of the enemy. And we declare, Lord, right now tonight, a new baptism of the Holy Spirit that will come upon your children, Father God. A new baptism with fire. A new baptism with miracle signs and wonders, Father God. That no church will be the same after this weekend, oh God. That we'll go back We'll rededicate. We'll recalibrate, Father God. And we'll define, Father God, who we are. We are leaders of the kingdom of God. And we declare tonight, oh Lord Jesus, that your glory will be revealed. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 We declare, let them go. And we declare, let them go. We declare, let them go in the name of Jesus. We declare right now that tonight, Father God, we pray over the speakers for this weekend. And we ask you, Father God, to give them fresh revelation, fresh understanding, Lord Father God. And if you want to change everything about what they're going to speak, allow them to walk in your way, Father God. Hear with the whisper and move with them, Father God. We pray protection right now over them and their families, Father, tonight. And we dispatch the angels now, Father God. And we declare, we decree that nothing will come near their dwelling, Father God. We thank you, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, refine us tonight. Refine us tonight, Lord. Refine us tonight, Lord Jesus. Burn off the moss. Burn off, Father God, those things that hind us and keep us down. Burn it up, Father Lord Jesus. And let us be used for you, O oh God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Come on. Come on. We thank you. 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 Come on. We thank you. Move around. We thank you, oh God. We thank you. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord. Come on, we thank you. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you tonight, God. Honor you, Father, for these prophetic moments. Honor you, God, tonight for this kingdom moment. The Bible says, amen, let a man examine himself and see whether he be of the faith. And God, tonight in this moment, we examine ourselves before you. We sit, we kneel, we stand. God, we prostrate ourselves tonight that you might examine us. Search us, oh God. Oh my, search us tonight, oh God. Search us as a people. Search us as a city. God, search us as a region and as a nation. God, we ask that you, oh God, woo, will wash us tonight. Wash our minds, Lord. Wash our hearts tonight, God. Lord, that our hands would be clean as we stand before you, as we stand before your people, as we stand before our families. God, tonight I thank you, amen, for a divine moment of examination. A divine moment of examination. We stand still tonight that we might see the salvation of our God. Mm-hmm. Father, for we are not here tonight because we're better than anybody else or because we're better than anything else. No, God, but we stand here tonight saying, examine us. It was Isaiah that said, I'm a man of unclean lips and that I'm amongst the people of unclean lips. God, we as your people, as your intercessors, we as your prophetic vessels, may we not just look upon others but may we ask you to look upon ourselves. We acknowledge God that, that whatever the uncleanness has been, the unrighteousness have been, whatever iniquity, God, sin that may have been found in us, we confess, we acknowledge, God, we lay out to you tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. For the Bible says, amen, that the Lord's ear is not heavy, that he cannot hear us. His ear is not dull, that he cannot hear us, but our sin can separate us from him God tonight amen as we confess as we acknowledge oh God tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus amen separate us from our past separate us God from the bondages of yesterday separate us God from the addictions amen that we thought we were out of oh God tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus mamas and daddies husbands and wives God preachers and prophets Lord volunteers tears Lord tonight amen that you would separate us from the very thing that is trying to separate us from you in the name of Jesus cleanse us tonight take the coal from the fire God take the coal from the fire God take the coal from the fire God touch our lips 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 tonight oh god ah when they say touch our lips oh god that we would not speak guile that we would not be double tongued touch our lips tonight father that we would not say one thing preach one thing pray one thing and then live another thing touch our lips tonight oh god touch the lips of the pulpit touch the lips amen of our churches touch the lips of your leaders oh God touch our lips oh God hey that we would not be double tongued but father that we might have singleness of heart hey my God we pray for these things tonight touch our lips touch our lips Jesus behold you stood over Jerusalem you looked and you wept you wept over the city and God tonight there are those of us here that are weeping over our city we're weeping over this region we're weeping God over the depravity we're weeping over the loss we're weeping over the decay we're weeping God we're weeping Lord our heart amen is broken because your heart is broken for this city and for this region God tonight we ache where you ache God we weep like you wept over Jerusalem so we weep over Tucson God this is your city revive it 
is your city, Father. Revive the as great as a problem of natural homelessness, so great is the problem of spiritual homelessness. And God, that many of your people are without a home, without a spiritual gathering, without, amen, hallelujah, a spiritual camp, God. They are, they are without, they're, they're the dry bones, but tonight we prophesy to the dry bones, to the north and the south, the east and the west, that the winds will be summoned and that it will fill the hearts again of those that are scattered across Sabino Canyon, scattered across Sarita scattered across the foothills scattered across south tucson scattered across oracle in three points or a valley scattered god that you will gather them that's what this weekend is called it's a leadership gathering god made such a, an attractiveness amen come out of this weekend that you will gather your people from the furthest parts of darkness we summon them tonight we summon them tonight. Retake your position. Regain your position. Come back. Come home. For the Father is calling. 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 Yea, God. Yea, God. Yea, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For the anointing flows through broken vessels for the anointing flows through broken vessels and sometimes the Lord will leave a portion of your heart broken so that the oil can flow through it I know it is said God will heal you of everything there's times God will leave a portion of the brokenness there so that it might secrete his glory in that segment in the name of Jesus come on while we're standing right here in this place while we're in this moment of receiving and of gratitude here is lovest thou me Peter do you love me feed my lambs again Peter do you love me take care of my sheep Peter do you love me feed my sheep driving over here tonight the Lord said to me this whole weekend is about my sheep anytime I speak to a leader it's because I care about my sheep anytime I grow my leaders it's because I care about my sheep anytime I gather the headship of anything it's because of the body and the Lord struck me if it were internally so Jamie it's about my sheep Pastor Randy summoned us here as the visionary because it's about the sheep the flock put your name there Sally lovest thou me Roger lovest thou me then tend to my lambs tend to my sheep feed my flock God, this tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, feed us so we can feed your flock. Tend to us, God, so that we can tend to your flock. That even the weakest amongst us ooh, will begin to receive an outpouring from the Spirit of God. 
Thank you for that tonight, Father. Thank you for that tonight, Father. Praise you for that tonight, oh God. As we walked in here tonight, and as I was coming into the row, I kept hearing cracking, really loud cracking, and I thought it was in the sound system, and I started turning, and as I was turning, the Lord said, I am breaking down walls of disunity tonight. They are breaking tonight, and in order to take the church of Tucson, not my church, not your church, the church of Tucson to where he needs it to be, the walls of disunity need to come down. We are all crying out for revival. And the only way that we can get there is we start praying for each other. And we start believing for the church of Tucson to take its place. Not about me, myself, and I, but about raising up the church in Tucson so that we can take it back and we can go in and win them. There's not one church that's going to contain all the fish that are in Tucson. Oh, Father, break the walls down tonight. Break it down tonight in the name of Jesus. I ask you right now, go to someone that you do not know from another church and find somebody and start praying for them. Tell them how much you love them. Tell them how much we can be more useful in the kingdom if we know each other and we pray for them and we believe that the walls are coming down. The walls are breaking. The walls are coming down. We pray for every church. Lord Jesus, we pray for every church in Tucson. God, that they would arise and take their place. Father, that the walls would come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it in the name of Jesus. We call souls in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We call them in right now into every church. Let revival come. Let revival come. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Souls come in right now in Jesus' name. Get us out of the way, Lord. Get us out of the way. Get us out of the way. In Jesus' name. Maroso robo sheki andara da basanda da burro monde beshe. Ela mama mama maroko robo sharra baba shala mandala da burro se. Ela maroka ndere ela maria so robo shanda da bandere ela mario so. Ah ya ki a so roche. Ela mama mama mandala da mandala da burro se ela mandia she. Maroko robo se ela mandala da bo sharra baba sheki andara da basia. 
Rosa. Come on, if you're baptized in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues, come on, pray in the Spirit right now. If you're not praying for somebody, pray in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit, keep praying. If you're praying, just pray and listen. If you can, keep praying and listen. Keep praying and listen. Praying and listen. Let me say this. The enemy has begun his attack on the church in Tucson. But I will say this. Three things that we need to remember today is that he inhabits the praises of his people. What I keep hearing... Brother Jamie, Apostle Jamie, what I keep hearing is we too many times with our words try to come against principalities and powers that we do not have the authority to come against. And you know what we do? We give our game plan and just lay it out in front of them all. We need to stop and we need to enter his gates with thanksgiving and we enter his courts with praise and because of the blood the veil has been ripped in two and given us direct access to his presence and he resides and lives in us Lord first of all break off every spirit of apathy and complacency off your spirit baptized church right now in the name of Jesus Lord, I pray that you would bring us back to holiness. Lord, bring us back to holiness. I said bring us back to holiness. No foul language out of our mouth. No drinking down our throats. No pornography on our phones. Purity of heart and purity of mind. Lord, I ask right now that the things that you hate, we would hate. Lord, the things that hurt you would hurt us. We got to praise, because let me say this, when you praise and when you worship, he inhabits your praises, nothing can come against you. Nothing can destroy you, let me say it that way. Number two, when you speak the word, the enemy can do nothing against the word of God. Even Jesus fought Lucifer by the word of God. Speak the word. Praise, worship, speak the word. And for those of us who are baptized in the Holy Spirit, whether you are or not, if you're not, that's okay. Don't get under condemnation. Just pray in, in your understanding. But those of us who are baptized in the Holy Spirit, we need to begin to pray in tongues more than we ever have before. We got to open our mouth and sharobo Because when you pray in the spirit, you pray mysteries, and it's the Holy Spirit praying through you. And when your Holy Spirit's praying through you, it's not on you, it's on him. Ah, it's not on you, Apostle Joyce, it's on him. So do battle in the spirit because I'm going to end it with this we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and rulers in high places and darkness in this world if our battle is spiritual we've got to fight in the spirit we've got to pray in the spirit we've got to sing in the spirit you know we lost that thing of singing in the spirit Can I just lead you somewhere really quick, Pastor Randy? This, in English, sometimes you got to start in the understanding to get you in the spirit. Worthy is your name. Can you just stop that music for just a second? Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. There you go. Worthy is your name. 
Worthy is your name, Jesus. Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy. Worthy is your name. Come on, now let's sing in the spirit. Come on, come on, just keep worshiping, keep worshiping. Pastor Jeremy said something, and he said that God inhabits the praises of his people. I want to show you something real quickly as you're worshiping God. Can I get can I get about six people up here? Just keep worshiping, keep worshiping, keep worshiping, keep worshiping, keep worshiping. Give me about six people up here. Give me one in the middle, and I want y'all to surround him. Just surround him. Come on, give me more people. I want you to surround him. I want you to surround him. Surround him. Just surround him. This is what the word inhabit looks like in the actual Hebrew. The word inhabit. Literally means that God's going to come down. He's going to walk around you. He's actually going to sit and inhabit you. But then it says, if you go deeper, it says it's going to marry your worship. And so what that means is that when you begin to worship God and praise God, it literally means that God is stepping down out of heaven around you. He's going to put a hedge of protection around you. He's going to marry your worship. And let me tell you now, the bride will always protect the bridegroom. Amen. And so tonight as we're worshiping, this is what you're seeing. Then watch this. Then you're going to lock arms. You're going to lock arms. And this is what we really see right now in the spiritual realm is that we're worshiping God. Keep worshiping. Come on. Keep worshiping. The Bible says he inhabits. That means he's going to come down. He's going to walk around you. He's going to settle himself down in you. And then he's going to marry your worship. He becomes one with you when you worship. And this is what we have. This is why the enemy cannot get into you when you worship. Because this is what's happening in the spirit realm. So come on, somebody. Worship. 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 Come on, worship him for just one minute. Lord, we worship your name. Lord, we magnify you, Jesus. We lift your name high and glorify the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I want you to keep this picture in your mind, in your head. Stay right here, everybody. We've got this so backwards. And our Valor students know this. And my church knows it. But when did we take prayer? When did we move from prayer? Let me put it this way. Just like you're seeing the bride and the bridegroom. In Eastern culture, the bride always ministered to the bridegroom. When you walk into the presence of your master, whether it's the president, whether it's the queen, whether it's the king, when have you ever seen the king come off his throne and serve his servant? We've got this backwards. We come to prayer with, with, the, with the thought, Pastor Randy, that king of all universe you're here to serve me but that is not the way this was designed we are here to serve our master when was the last time you ministered to the lord in your prayer when was the last time you said lord let me give you a cup of water when was the last time you said lord let me pour oil on your feet and on your hands 
and on your head. Lord, take my worship and let it minister to you. Let it wash over you like it never has before. When was the last time you ministered to Jesus? When was the last time you went into his presence not wanting anything from him but wanting to give him everything that you have? Stop switching it. It's our job to minister to him. It's not his job. Because I'll tell you, when you walk into the presence of the king, all you have to do is be in his presence. When you're in his presence, you instantly have access. And that access brings blessing. You don't have to do a thing. Come on, I want everyone just to minister to him right now. Come on. If you love Jesus, if you love the master, come on, just say, Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I give you my praise. Lord, I give you my worship. Lord, I give you all of me. Lord, I give you my, my, my words. Lord, I give you my heart. Lord, take my hands. Take my feet. Lord, I just worship your name right now. Lord, I lift you high and I give you glory and honor and praise. Lord, I don't need anything from you. You've already given me everything I need, Lord. But I just want you to be ministered to, Lord Jesus. I want you to receive my praise like it's like it's incense like it's oil over your head Woo! just like the just like the woman like oil upon your feet Lord like wine for you to drink I worship you with all that I have with all that I am Lord I worship you Lord I minister to you Lord I give you everything Take my money, take my car, take my house. Lord, as long as you have the glory. In the name of Jesus, everybody, just stay right where you are, opening up your mouth and glorifying the Lord. God, we glorify you, glorify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your worship and your praise go beyond where you are now. Allow the ceiling to be your floor. I want you to speak to every level of atmosphere so we can penetrate and get to the heaven God is extending his scepter to us because we worship him because we glorify him we speak to the north and the south the east and the west come on and open up your mouth wave your hands and give God a wave offering praise he said shout shout with the voice of triumph shout with the voice of triumph shout call on the name of Jesus 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 you're worthy Jesus you're the lily of the valley you're the bright and the morning star there's nothing greater nothing better there's nothing more sweeter than the word of God Jesus is the word that became flesh and dwelt 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 
God wants me to speak to people. There's a people in here in turbulent times. I was on a plane last night, didn't get home till after midnight, and we were up above the clouds, a place where it's supposed to be peaceful, a place where it's supposed to be stable. And all of a sudden, the plane started shaking more violently than I've ever experienced at that level, over 31,000 feet. And some people have raised up the standard. God has raised the standard in you, but you're still going through turbulent times. And when those plane, that plane started shaking, the man next to me, he was looking at me, and I was looking at him, and I said <laughs> to those wind, you better cease and desist. You better stop. And I mean it now. And it shook a little bit more because it thought I was playing with it. I ain't playing with you. I said, you better stop. And I mean it now because I want a comfortable ride home. Hey. And so sometimes if you're in a turbulent place, you got to speak to that thing. You got to open up your mouth. And if it doesn't act at first, act at first on what you say, then you keep speaking it to it. Keep speaking to it until it stops. So those that are in turbulent times, God says you got to keep speaking. You got to keep speaking to it. You got to keep declaring and decreeing. That's you, mom. Declaring and decreeing to that thing. And it must obey you. It must obey you because you are set over it all. God gave it all to you. He said, I want it to obey you and for you to learn how to push. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue to push and I'm going to get the mic up. I want to push one more time. I want us to push one more time. And I want you to speak to the atmosphere. I want you to speak, I believe, speaking to the angels. And come and go and do the work of ministry. And push you into the place that God is purposing, said that you are to be. Y'all ready? We're going to do it on the count of three. We're going to push. <laughs> In Jesus' name, God, I thank you. I thank you for the one. <laughs> Jesus, I thank you for a two agreement with your word. And I thank you for the three where they all agree in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth. Hey, hey, hey. I'm pushing through turbulence. We push it through trouble. Come on, come on, come on. God is good, isn't he? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Push a little more, push a little more. Come on, push a little more. Push a little more, push a little more. Amen, push a little more. We gonna worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. And if we can worship him in truth, we can also worship him falsely. Come on, talk to me now. We in Arizona, there's all kind of desert spirits here. Amen, amen, all kind of stuff here. But let me say this. As I was sitting there, and before we pray, I want to, want to give you what God was giving me as I was sitting there. He said, many are called, but few are chosen. I'm so grateful for the subject matter that's taking place this week, leading with integrity. Because if you're a man or woman of God in this field, you know there are a lot of people that are leading but don't have any integrity, don't have any character. I got a close friend of mine, not friend of mine who's been praying for a church where I come from in California. And the senior leader got into an affair with a couple of women in the church split the church, started another church in LA, and pastored that church for three months, and then got called to a church in Michigan. 
and still doing the same thing. No integrity in the pews, no integrity in the pulpit, no integrity in leadership. He said, many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few God finds favor in. Just because you call doesn't mean that God finds favor in you because of the integrity issue. And I want us to pray that God that everyone that is called by God, amen, will walk in integrity, talk in integrity, live in integrity. When I, when I teach classes on preaching one-on-one -on -one or ministering one-on-one, -on -one, the first thing I tell the ministers is that you have to have integrity. Your power comes from how you live. How you live is critical. One of the first classes is talking about how you live because you can't live one way and then minister another way. Your power comes from how you walk with God. And so we need integrity. We need to understand that our calling is critical and that we have to be true to the calling. And so I want us right now to just go to two or three people, get in a group, and I want you to pray that God will give us integrity in our calls. Wherever you call to, if you call to just picking up paper in the church, if you call to just it, doing parking lot duty, if you call, amen, in cooking, whatever area God has called you to, let's go to two to three people and let's just get in the circle and let's just pray that God will give us integrity in our calling. Come on, right now, integrity in our calling. Integrity in our calling. Shuro boro shara barasha yeda boro ko barara ka shere bareke yeda barasha boro ko yeda barasha yeda barara ka. Come on, come on. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Give us integrity in our calling. Integrity in our calling. Integrity in our calling. Let us walk right. Let us live right. Amen. Let us teach right. Let us preach right. Amen. Let us preach with a Holy Ghost anointing. Amen. That's all over us, that's in us. Let us minister, Lord, like you live in us, Lord. Amen. Let us minister, Lord, like we're the temple, the actual temple of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, give us integrity, Lord, in our calling. Give us integrity in our walk. Give us integrity, Lord, in everything that we do in you. Let us worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, let us be the church that you've called us to be. Let us be the ecclesia, the called out ones, Lord, that you called us to be in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Let's pray, let's pray. Integrity, integrity, integrity in our call. Integrity in our call. Integrity in our walk. Integrity in our calling, amen. Integrity in our preaching. Integrity in our living, Lord. Let us live right, let us walk right, let us talk right, but more importantly, let us lead right. We gotta lead people in integrity. Take our calling serious, Lord. Bless us to take our calling serious, Lord. Let us take our calling serious, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Integrity in our calling. Integrity in our calling, Lord. Integrity in our calling. Integrity in our calling. Integrity in our calling in the name of Jesus. 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 Come on, push, push one more minute. Come on, push one more minute. Come on, push one more minute. One more minute, push. Come on, push one more minute. One more minute in the name of Jesus. One more minute. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Integrity in our calling. In the name of Jesus. Come on, 30 more seconds. Come on, 30 more seconds in the name of Jesus. 
Come on, come on, come on. Ten more seconds. Come on, come on. In the name of Jesus. 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 Come on, let's give him a hand clap and a shout right now. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, give him a big thank you, Lord. 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 Lord, we just honor you in this house. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. And we thank you, Lord, that what you're going to do, you've already started in the heavenlies. You're going to solidify it this weekend, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, right now for everything you're doing. Lord, we give you glory. Just, just get silent and just be in his presence. Stephanie. fear epidemic flowing through our ranks because we forgot about the perfect love of Christ falling in love with processes and platforms pulpits pews we forgot about the perfect love of Christ so there are entanglements in our mind and our soul and our spirit that keeps us bound into generational bondage. And we try to do what we used to do. And we try to flow like we used to flow. We try to speak like we used to speak. But the issue isn't the word or the sound or the frequency. The issue is the perfect love of Christ is absent from what, what we do and where we are. This, this fear has created chains, prison doors, and there's layers to it, layers to the bondage because we refuse to acknowledge the true and perfect love of Christ. And here's a demonstration. Come here, sir. The perfect love says, regardless of what you did to me, I forgive you. And I'm not going to let what happened interfere with our covenant relationship. I just met this brother. However, if we can understand the perfect love of Christ, it would destroy fear. And we can stand united and truly take our city back. But it requires this. The perfect love of Christ that looks beyond your faults and says, you know what? I love you.
I just hear the Lord say that those things that you've battled with for so long, that as you step into my glory, as you step into the river of life, that within seconds, within minutes, things are going to begin to change. Things are going to begin to break off of you. Just a few minutes in his glory and in his presence makes every change that you need in your lives. So step on in. Amen. Glory to God. Well, hallelujah. I think God's going to do some things this weekend. What about you? Amen. Glory to God. I'm going to bring Miss Cree up. She's going to give you some instructions about tomorrow. Amen. And we look so forward to seeing you this weekend. Amen. It's going to be off the chain. Amen. Amen. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to Southern Arizona Leaders Volunteers Gathering. Are y'all ready? I don't know if you're ready. I'm so happy to see so many of you from last year. We're so honored to have so many of you with us. Tomorrow I'll do a formal introduction of all of our guests that have joined us here in Tucson. Not just those of us that live here, but those of us that came to see us from far, far away. But I want to tell you something about God in case you forgot. He's everywhere. Amen. We are so honored that you are with us tonight. I want to give a special shout out to Pastor Jeremy and Pastor Robin. They brought students all the way from Valor College. All the way from Valor College, but they're here in Tucson. So we say welcome students. We're going to put y'all to work tonight, right after this in Jesus' name. Anyway, I just want to give you a quick announcement. Tomorrow morning registration begins at 845 in the morning in our lobby. You can also register your children at that time. Um, please remember, parents, that there is no exception to the rule if there's something that you need or if there's an emergency with your child. Our head of security will notify me and we will notify you promptly and take care of that and take care of your children. Um, also, we will have our first breakout sessions tomorrow. There will be a schedule available. There will also be a schedule available on your badge. So you'll be able to flip that over, take a picture of the QR code, and it can tell you everywhere you want to be. Amen. So we are so honored that you guys are with us. Y'all, this was my first time meeting y'all last year because I had just started serving at this church. And so this is part two of Korea and the conference. Amen. So I'm so excited to be here. Y'all, I have to give a shout out to Dr. Amanda. I am such a fangirl of her. Oh, I am a fangirl of Dr. Amanda. Last year, she talked about the celestial plane. Okay, slap me, because I am a nerd, and she brought that word. Woo, Dr. Amanda, you know I'm happy to see you, girl. Anyway, um, so we are so honored to have so many of you here. Um, I want to give a special shout out to the team that helped me put this conference together. There are so many people that move with me, sometimes not at that same speed, but I am undone at the commitment of the team of His Presence Church. And I just want to say to you guys, I love you so much. And I thank you for helping me move in a spirit of excellence so much during this conference. I'm going to have Apostle Joyce come on up. Y'all, this is Apostle Joyce. She came all the way from the East Coast. Do you hear me? All the way, all the way, all the way. And I got to meet Apostle Joyce, I mean, not really, but via Zoom, and I just, y'all, have you ever met someone and you just love them instantly? I just loved her, and I told her, she celebrated her birthday with us um, on one of our sessions, and I said, excuse me, Apostle Joyce, how young are you? Because you know, when you season, you're not old, you're young, okay? So tell everyone how young you are, because they won't believe it. 80. In case you're wondering, hello. Okay, anyway, uh, but I want y'all to know she has taught us how to pray heaven down. And Apostle Joyce, we honor you tonight, ma'am, for being with us. We're so glad that you are with us. She'll be teaching one of our sessions tomorrow, and she's going to close us out. Um, HBC, I need the reset team so we can get the sanctuary ready for tomorrow. 
but welcome to Southern Arizona leaders, volunteers gathering. Y'all, we finna have a time. That's what they used to say back in my day. We finna have a time in Jesus. Amen. So let us all stand. All hearts and minds are clear. We love you guys. Thank you for being with us. Apostle Joyce will dismiss us and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you. We, we ficking to do this thing. Amen. We get, we're going to do it. Amen. May I just tell you this before I dismiss you. Uh, on my way, I have been in Page, Arizona prior to coming here, uh, ministering the last couple days. The Lord spoke to me and said there are some people uh, and that I would meet them in this region. That he has literally been telling you he's going to do some things for you. But the reason that you have not received them, because you have not proven him. He said, prove me. See, and every time you hear that word, your mind runs to money. He said, but I want you to prove me this weekend. Prove me and see if I won't open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you will not have room to receive. Praise God. So this is what's going to make this weekend majestic. Praise God, because God is going to show up in his own majesty, in his own glory. Hallelujah. He's going to do it because he's God. And he doesn't need permission from any of us to walk into the room and bless whom he will. Thank you, Jesus. And he's saying now, there's somebody that needs to prove him. You've just been using it as a word. But now he wants you to put it in action. Prove me, prove me, prove me. And one of the ways that it happened is to come up thither. That was the other word he gave me for the region. Come up thither. That's, that's like John. Mm -hmm. Get caught up in the spirit so you can see some things you haven't seen yet. So you can hear some stuff you haven't heard yet. Speak some things you haven't spoken yet. Praise God. That's where we got to go. We've got to go higher in the spirit. Whoo. We're going to be talking. If we, get, if we get a chance, we're going to talk about higher level intercession. I understand what my assignment in is this week. Amen. I, I couldn't get tired. I tried to get tired, but I was like, take a Tylenol, keep it moving. <laughs> Praise God. Because there are some people that need to know you've got to come out of that outer court. You, you're playing around out there. We got to get you in to the inner court, to the holy place. Amen. The needs are too great. God, and I thank you for this people. Thank you for a people that you have called by your name. Gathered us together for this weekend. Hallelujah. So that we might give your name glory, honor, and praise. And to recognize the greatness that lies within you. Hallelujah. God, I bless your name tonight. And I bless you for this people. And I know, God, because you have spoken it, someone will see you in a different way. Because you're going to prove yourself to somebody this weekend. They've been sitting around for a long time. Some of them have a 38-year syndrome. They've been laying by the pool. But we decree and declare tonight, hallelujah, that they shall receive their healing in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare tonight that there is none greater than you. We decree and declare tonight that you will pick us up, turn us around, fix our matter tonight in the name of Jesus and the conclusion of this weekend hallelujah we decree and declare that it shall be you all you and nothing else but you oh God of heaven we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus we will not dismiss us but we will say we will gather again in the name of Jesus on tomorrow in Jesus name amen